Hi, we're Tomorrowland, an invention studio focused on new hardware technology for big brands, agencies, and startups. We create prototypes and then turn them into market-ready, manufacturable products. On Potentially Genius, we take a Potentially Genius idea and turn it into a Potentially Genius thing using components from DigiKey's massive library. All while giving you a peek into our four-phase invention process. In this episode of Potentially Genius, we're going to meet with Cornell Pizarra from ADI. Analog Devices gave us the MAX 78000. This is a rapid development platform that allows engineers to quickly implement low power and low cost on chip AI. It has an onboard camera and audio interface that allows AI audio processing, facial recognition, and object detection, all without needing the internet. Hey, Cornell. Tell us more about the MAX 78000 and what we could build with it. Uh, it's low power, cost uh, effective system. Um, it has a video, a vision and audio interface, a Bluetooth connectivity, uh, built in power accumulator, battery charger and fuel gauge, an LCD touch display. I'm going to let you guys use your genius and uh, come up with a great concept uh, to utilize these products. And I'm looking forward to seeing what uh, you guys come up with. So the original brief was to use the MAX 78000 component in order to leverage its AI capabilities and do recognition of some kind, whether that's recognizing a person, a pet, or even uh, multiple people or objects in a space. So some of the initial ideas that we came up with to use the MAX 78000 were to count the number of people in a space in order to trigger a capacity alarm. Another idea was to build a power strip that would have some type of facial recognition built in and would actually turn that power strip on or off so you could use a device that was only meant for you to use. We ended up deciding to focus on creating an AI device for cats. And so what this device will do, it'll be a feeding device like a bowl and it will only allow cats or a certain cat to access it and actually prevent dogs or any other type of animal from getting at the food. So to prototype the electronic aspect of the cat-friendly football, we're ordering a couple of components from DigiKey. First, two micro servos, a mini boost 5 volt, and a peno mount micro USB cable. All right, so me and Jason have picked out all these components, and we know roughly the size they're going to be. As we're receiving them, I can measure them so that as I'm working here, in this CAD, I can actually make sure that all the bosses I'm creating, all the fastening points, are actually gonna fit into the structure I've created. On the electronic side of things, for a typical potentially genius project, we usually have A, hardware, and B, firmware. But this time, we have a completely different addition, which is AI slash machine learning. Before sitting in front of a computer and gathering real-life data of objects beforehand, in this case, pictures of our stuffed cats and dogs. Convolution neural nets work the best when the unexpected input is mostly, if not completely, covered in the vast training data set. I'm taking high FPS videos of the stuffed animals with different backgrounds and angles. I'm chopping them up into tons of still frames, labeling and organizing them into folders. Once they are organized, I'm running the cat versus dog model training script from the SDK on the computer with the powerful GPU. The PyTorch-based program then takes in the categorized images and proceeds with the time-consuming training process. After a good while, I get a checkpoint file that's essentially the trained model with all its weights and biases. Then I use other scripts to quantize the model and synthesize it which is essentially a conversion process to generate C code that the MAX78000 can run. Finally, the code is edited to send PWM signals to control the servo motors. All right, so we've started printing out the pieces for this and testing the fit. Everything's fitting well together so far, and it's really looking pretty nice. But I did run into one issue. The hinges I designed don't quite work. I didn't quite give them enough, uh, enough clearance. And that's just one thing you run into with hinges. They're kind of a pain. Uh, so I'm gonna have to take this back apart and really take a Dremel to it to smooth out some of these edges so these hinges can open. And I might also have to add some material to make sure they open to the correct position uh, so that everything operates smoothly. I'm not gonna worry too much about like the shape of this. 
because I'll come back in with a tool later and shape it nicely in there. All right, so uh, one last little thing I wanna do before I assemble this. So I've got these two dowels here uh, and I cut them from a longer stock just because dowels don't come in this super long size. You can see they're pretty big. Um, and I've already cut them down to size, but now I just need to clean up the ends. Last step is gonna be place this bowl in here. Hey Cornell, good to see you again. Hey guys, uh, great to see you guys again. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys came up with uh, as far as the Max 78000. I know you guys came up with a great idea, so I'm looking forward to seeing, uh, seeing an action. So this product we're calling Cat.ai or Cat.i. And the main features include, first, there's a food bowl. This metal food bowl is meant to hold the food for the cat. And this goes into this 3D printed enclosure uh, with these motorized doors. And those doors actuate, controlled by a motor. And that motor is driven by um, our AI powered board from ADI. And that powered board has a little camera that's facing out right here, so it can see who's trying to eat from it, whether it's a cat or a dog. If there's a cat, the doors will open, and if it's a dog, they'll stay closed. Pretty cool, <laughs> I like that. We've decided that this could be made out of metal or other types of plastic to have a more decorative appeal that maybe matches the interior of your home kitchen. Well, this is pretty cool cool uh, project, guys. I, I'm, I'm happy with the result that you guys came up with, and I think you convinced me to get myself either a cat or a dog, <laughs> or maybe both now that I can uh, have one of those uh, <laughs> those uh, feeding machines that you guys created. That's great. Um, well, Cornell, at, at the end of these, we usually ask, you know, did we create something potentially genius here? So I, what do you I think? think you guys definitely uh, created something potential, potentially genius, and uh, I like the concept and I like the, the results that you guys came up with. Very nice. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you to our friends at DigiKey. Please be sure to visit the DigiKey YouTube channel to see our past episodes.